welcome to my Legend of Zelda Amiibo Collection. So today in this video, I thought I'd show you guys through some of the ones that I've got. I haven't actually got all of them, but I thought I'd show you guys which ones are my favorite. Now for us adult collectors, we like to keep a lot of these things really nice and in box to keep them looking pristine and nice. But some of them have got a lot of nice in-game functionality so sometimes you're going to want to have a number of them that are unboxed to be able to get a little bit more hands-on with them let's check out my collection in this video one of my favorite amiibos of all time is this wolf link amiibo it has just got such incredible quality and craftsmanship to it and also you've got the little awesome Midna riding as well. This came with the Wii U Twilight Princess limited edition set. And the Amiibo unlocks some additional in-game functionality. I've still got to actually play it, but this should unlock some bonus dungeons for me. And it's one that came in the set. I had to unbox it because I'm going to want to actually use the chip and functionality in-game but also it does just look really, really nice. What collection would be complete without actually having a Ganon Amiibo? Again, the quality is really nice on this one. I really like as well the level of detail that's gone into the painting of the cape. And it's a nice, uh, it's a slightly flexed plastic, but it is a nice enough rigid material to not break. Um, I really like Ganon. I chose to unbox this one just because I could really get more to the detail of the Amiibo. Sometimes if I really like the box art, then that's one that I'm going to want to keep sealed. No Breath of the Wild collection would be complete without having a Bokoblin. I really, really love this little dude. Such an incredible Amiibo. I decided I had to unbox this guy just because look at all the contours, the level of detail that you've got with this. It's just a really, really great amiibo to have out of box. And it looks really good on any shelf or as part of any Legend of Zelda collection. So I got the Breath of the Wild pair. I got these when I actually got my Wii U game disc. And again, they're, they're a newer style, much better quality than some of the original Amiibos. It is the more recent Amiibos that Nintendo have done that I really, really like. A lot more over some of the originals. I wasn't really a fan of the original Amiibos themselves. But I do think these newer ones, Nintendo have definitely managed to continually outdo themselves. I think the detail on the Link one is actually a lot better than the Princess Zelda. Normally with these Amiibo collections as well, people always focus on the Link collection because there seems to be a lot more of those available, but I do like some of the Princess Zelda ones as well. This here is actually the first Wind Waker Toon Link one that I picked up. And it works really nicely for the Smash Brothers game. So I unboxed this one so that I could actually use it for my Wii U Smash Brothers. Really, really cool. I'm a massive fan of Toon Link. I do love the Wind Waker game. Wind Waker is not actually my favorite overall game, but I do really, really like it and I especially love Toon Link and all his little facial expressions. So my other Wind Waker Legend of Zelda Amiibos and the rest of my Amiibos are all actually in box but this is the boxed Link with the Wind Waker itself. I really like the box art and I love his little face expression on the box there. So I did think about did I want to open this one but I think it goes really nicely as a pair because the Toon Link Zelda this is one of my favorite amiibos. It's just really, really cool. And I really like the detail on Princess Zelda as well. 
It's actually one of the slightly harder amiibos to come by now. With a lot of things Nintendo, the stock always often seems to run out. And then they're not that easy to get hold of. You have to either wait for them to be able to come back in for pre-order, or to pay inflated prices on eBay. And let's face it, none of us want to do that. I don't think any amiibo collection would be complete without the anniversary Ocarina of Time Link Amiibo. I really like the box art as well on this one. But it's just, I just really, I'm a massive fan of the Ocarina of Time, as you guys might know. It's just a really, really nice amiibo. There is a large part of me that would love to unbox this, but I think I'm going to keep it as part of my boxed collection. Next up, we have a Link Trio. Now, these three amiibo actually all came out together. So we've got the Majora's Mask Link, the Skyward Sword Link, and the Twilight Princess Link. Let's look at these individually. Now these are some more Link Amiibos that were really, really hard to come by when they first came out. They all sold out straight away. I think predominantly they came out at the time the Breath of the Wild did. And you had exclusive functionality and costumes that you would unlock in game. And it made these really, really well sought after. I think of the three, uh, the Skyward Sword is my favourite. I just really love the pose that they gave to Link. And again, the level of detail is really, really nice with this amiibo. Having said that, of all the games, you guys might or might not know, but Twilight Princess is another real, one of my favourite Legend of Zelda games. I really like the slightly darker green tunic that Link wears. I'm not too sure about the pose that they gave Link for this amiibo because there's normally a lot of detail in the shield and that Hylian shield we normally really, really want to see. Um, but it is still a really nice amiibo. Okay, next we've got Young Link. It's another Super Smash Brothers release. But I really like this amiibo because we've got the Dooku shield and the level of detail and texture to make that wooden shield really, really stand out. I really, really love the pose as well with the sword raised back, ready to do a charged up swirl attack. Really, really, really incredible. One of the newer Amiibo releases is the Link's Awakening, which came out for the Switch not so long ago. I was on the fence whether I was going to get the Amiibo because it's quite a different art style. I think the, the game for the Switch looks really, really incredible. And I sort of started to slightly fall in love with the Amiibo the more I looked at it when it came out on release. And I decided, you know, with Big Egg in the background, the box art just looks really, really, really great. And this is such a fantastic, colourful Amiibo to have as part of my collection. We then come to some of my most prized pieces of my collection. And that is the Breath of the Wild Amiibos. I really, really like this Guardian Amiibo. It is humongous. It is in a much, much larger box than you get for any of the other Amiibos. And the level of detail is really, really nice as well. I really, really do like the box art. Really, really awesome. Now, it kind of partly pains me because I'd love to open this up because you can sort of play with those poseable bendy arms of the Guardian. Uh, but I can't bring myself to unbox this because it looks so great in the box. And also for my collection, what I'll tend to do is I'll tend to take other Amiibos and actually place them on the top of my box or to actually even rest boxed ones on top. And it looks really, really nice as part of the display. So that's just kind of another reason why I think I'll keep my Guardian Amiibo in box. We then come to the final piece in my collection, which is my boxed set, Breath of the Wild Guardian set, where we've got Urbosa, Rivali, Mifa, and Daruk. Now the level of quality on these four Guardians is really, really great. Zora is by far my favorite. I love what they've done with that. 
Oh, but then look at the Goron. Look, check, check Derek out. He's so, so cool. Zora and the Gorons I've always been a massive fan of in The Legend of Zelda. The others I could kind of take or leave a little bit, but they're still really, really nice. I would love to, I would love to unbox those and really get to, to have a hands-on with them, but they're just so nice in that box set. That I just don't think I could ever, ever bring myself to do it. So, did you guys enjoy my little tour of my Legend of Zelda Nintendo Amiibos? Let me know which ones are your favourites. Yes, mate.